Alright, welcome. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw three different types of threads detailed, schematic, and simplified. And I'm going to show you how to draw a national standard thread. And that's that 60 degree angle, and you're going to see that in a second, but it's the one that you see all the time. This is not a square thread. This is not an acme thread. So this is our standard thread. And this is the thread we're going to make right here. So let's break this down. We got our major diameter right here, 0.875. Then we have number of threads per inch, which is 9. Our type of thread, which is right here. And our next number is class of fit. The higher the number it is, the tighter the thread will be uh, in its receiver. And then A is external and B is internal. So the first thing you got to do, make sure you are actually in the standard template, first of all. And draw a line straight up, and that's going to be that major diameter. Now... In a normal thread, this is just the thread here, there would be a length down here. It would be an X and then it would say like 2 inches or something. And it would say how long this is. Well, that's not given. So we're just going to make this 2 inches. So I'm going to come back down, draw this over, to trim this up. And let's scale down this guy. Alright, now, there's something that's referred to as P, and P is the pitch, and that's, the num that's 1 over the number of threads per inch. So, P for this one would be, and I'm just going to copy this up so you can follow along, P equals 1 over 9. Got that? So P is going to be 1 over 9, and then what we have to do is we actually have to set the bottom here to be P. So I'm going to draw a line, and I'm going to come over 1 over 9, and I'm just going to make a little line here, and that's just going to be a marker. Make copy, and just copy this down. Like so. Now, if we did that again at the top, they'd be lining up. And as we know, a thread is kind of like a corkscrew, and it wraps around, gaining ground in a direction which gives it slope. So, what we have to do here, we have to start with half P. So half P, easiest way to do that, double the denominator. So half P would be 1 over 18. So at the top here, 1, 18. And then you continue with the 1 over 9. That's just to get the offset. You see how quickly I did that? I just copied the bottom down here, like so. Next thing we got to do, we come down on our 3030, which gives us both our 60, and that will actually end up giving us our minor diameter. So we got the major, which is this line. You'll see in a second, we're about to get the minor. So let's go down here and make sure our proto tracking is to 30 degrees. I'm going to zoom in right here. 30, 30, 30, 30. Just trim that up. I'm just going to do two. Do the same thing up here. This one's just going to be down like that. If I did that right, look at that. Beautiful. Lines up. And what I'm going to do is just copy this all the way down. Same thing up here. 
see if I can mirror this first. Good. And I'm just going to copy it down. So think of these as the points, the crests of the actual thread. Highest point, highest point, lowest point, the roots, and the crests. Then all you got to do is connect the dots. So we connect from there to there, trough to trough, root to root. Do a couple of those, and I'm just going to copy these over. Now you can really start to see this thread come to shape. Now this is what's referred to as a detailed drawing. We're not done yet. If you were try to screw this thing on, it would not be very easy because of this flat surface right here. So what we have to do is we have to put a chamfer on the end. And to do that, we take the root or the trough right here, so the inside points. We go down and we switch our polar tracking to 45. And do the top first. So if we were to shave that off, right there, we take this point, we realign it right there. Now we do the same thing down here, where it intersects, 45, realign. If you ever look at a thread, like on a bolt, there's a chamfer on it. That makes it a lot easier to actually screw in to where it needs to go. And I'm just going to trim up everything. And that right there is the detailed thread of this thread down here. The detailed drawing, rather. Now, we can't just leave this right here because it looks terrible. So, in drafting, this is what we do. I'm just going to come out a little bit. Come out. I'm not going to do that. Extend this. Come in a distance, come up, and what I'm doing right here is I'm making a grid. Now watch this. I'm going to put a line there and a line there. Now the way I made this doesn't make a difference how you do this. But now I'm just going to do a spline. Click here, to here, to here, to here, to here. Enter. And then one from here, to here, to there. Enter, enter, enter. Delete all this. Delete this. Delete that. Delete this. Delete this. Delete this. You can kind of see this three-dimensional shape take place like that. And if you really want, you could do H enter, throw in a little hatch in there, and there you go. And then finally, you put a center line right there. So that right there without the center line is the completed detailed drawing of our UNC thread. So let's go ahead and put that in there and I'm going to make this distance up real quick, show you a shortcut here. So there's my nice distance, right? C enter from the beginning Go out point one two. See enter again. This time point two four. Trim up the difference. Delete the circle. Delete 
delete this line and then M move those back into place. And now you have a detailed thread drawing correctly done for this thread right here. All right, welcome back. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a UNC thread, this exact one, but this was a detailed drawing. Look at all the detail in there. We got all the little points, the thread, how it's wrapping around its center, and we extend the chamfer on here and the different size because when you're threading on an angle, the cut, you know, it's going to be bigger on one side than the other because of that corkscrew. And what I'm going to show you now is how to do two more. First one is going to be schematic which will be pretty easy and then an even easier one which will be simplified so to do this I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna make it right above our detailed thread so the first thing I need to do is come up our major diameter which is 0.875 and we decided this was gonna be 2 Come down 0.875 and back around. Now, on our detail, we did our pitch, which is one over number of threads per inch, so it's one ninth. That's our pitch. And on our first one, we did P all the way across here, and then we did half P and then P. Well, this one you don't have to worry about that, so I'm just going to come over one over nine come straight down there's my marker and I'm gonna just copy this a couple times and then copy the whole thing and this time I'm just gonna mirror this right over we don't have to worry about the offset because of the way these work and I'm just gonna draw a line straight down so you can see how that works. Don't even need these anymore. Or these, the spacing. And I'm just going to copy these all the way down. All right. Now, what we do is we come down. And I'm going to go one in on this, and you'll see why in a minute. Switch back over to 30 degrees. 30 here, 30 here, that gives us the nice 60. Control T, do the same thing right below it. And sure, we'll let that snap. Zoom in. And now what we're going to do is connect the dots. So, I'm going to go back and put this on the right layer. All right. And I'm going to make a new one. Call this thick. So I'm making a new layer. Calling it thick. It's the same color as zero. Except it needs to have some thickness to it. 0.40 looks good. And do L enter here. Well, let's switch to the right one now. Thick. And you just connect the dots. And then you go ahead and delete these. And then you just copy it down. So again, what we're making here, this is called schematic. There's no detail, although we did do this line right here that we're copying. This is our minor diameter, our larger diameter. Our major diameter is right here. Our minor diameter is right here. Our pitch is still correctly drawn. And then, all you do from here, switch over to 45. Notice I left the first one blank. That's because this one is where that taper is. Let's switch these back to the right layer. Just TR enter, trim it up. Delete that line. And since I already drew this once, I'm not going to do it again. And there you go. 
that is a schematic thread. Same thread, same bolt, two different ways to draw it. Alright, last one. How to draw a simplified version of a thread. This is extremely easy. And what we're going to do is make this same one, but just simplified. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Do my major diameter, 0.875. Because this is what we said it was, which is 2. That's what we're going to do. And come across. I'm on the wrong layer. Let's switch it back to thin. You do pitch. So 1 over 9 comes straight down, and I'm still on the wrong layer. Fix that. There we go. In this one, instead of doing the pitch and all that, all you do is come down on a 45. Up on a 45, that's that taper. And from this point, we just switch over to a hidden line, L enter, TR enter, trim this up, copy this, and there you go. That is a simplified thread. Simplified, schematic, and detailed.